<laughs> Don't fucking say that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not including that. In the oh, that's not a good cold open. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. I will. I I will probably remember what you said when I watch this, but nobody else is gonna know. I, I'm not putting that in there. All right. It's gonna come in right on me saying you can't say that. <laughs> Welcome back to Chin Chat Chat. That's well. I mean, that's your calling card, is it not? That you always say <laughs> things you probably shouldn't say right before the episode comes out. <laughs> I love it. I can't. I can't be canceled if I don't have any. Uh, yeah. Well, nobody heard what you said. Yeah. If I don't have any any words fully. Kept. And and here's where I would do the joke where I'd be like, well, he said beep, and there would be a beep, you know, but. <clears throat> Sabine script? What you fucking say to me? Yeah, I think so. So where does Nathan? Where does Sir Francis Drake's uh, thing end, and where does uh, his begin? You know. Four, three, four, four three, two, three. Three. Maybe you gotta walk across in a certain order. What do you fucking think you do? Yeah, you gotta okay. Oh no, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Four. So you go up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh no. Is that the X next, or is it that one? Look at it again. What is it? No, oh, it's four the first time. I think, is it the X? And then it's two. Yeah, so you gotta go to X. Yeah. You're going the wrong one. Four, three, four, two, three. Four, three, four, two, three. So, then three. And then four. And two. And then three. The first try. Fucking speed just from like that little cat with that door opens, you just hear it like <laughs> <laughs> reverberating. <laughs> Editor's note, edit that in there. <laughs> edit, edit that in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would love a little more light so I can see what I'm doing, Sally! He, he lights, he lights the thing, and then he's just fucking slowly jacking us. <laughs> <laughs> now I finally got your own Nate. Does this place remind you of any? It reminds me of mom. <laughs> How did he draw that so fast? How did he draw it at all? We didn't see him do it. Yeah, my hands are always so full. Borns of Agabia. Could you? You know what? You know what they should do for a. Uncharted movie sequel is they should do uh, something like this adventure, mm -hmm. but it's all told in real time. So it doesn't break. <laughs> ah, okay. So like uh, the the trip here, like the plane ride to get to France, we have to watch that whole thing. Oh god! Because how else do we know that he, how he gets there? Yeah, so it's just sitting. <laughs> it's just for fucking like. Just like hours. four hours, like four hours of the film. You're just watching Nate sleep in a fucking airplane. <laughs> and then it shows him get up to go to the bathroom, and it shows every single thing that he does. Like they He's arrive, just... they arrive, they're like, "Oh man, I'm fucking hungry. Let's go get something, something to eat." <laughs> so like, like, Hold on, I gotta take my allergy meds. <laughs> But just to be like, I gotta, I gotta, let's go eat, I'm hungry. <laughs> and they go pick up some, like, shawarma or He's something. Like, I gotta go do my laundry, alright? Gotta get some fresh clothes. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, go bang this Taiwanese hooker. <laughs> We're in France. What what, what is he doing? <laughs> you could have Taiwanese people in France. Yeah. It's the likelihood is very small, but whatever. Smaller. <laughs> Whoa! It's a fucking door. <laughs> yes, Nate. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Monsters just <laughs> suck him in. I mean, that would be sick. This this game doesn't really have much of the the supernatural stuff like the first two do. That's one thing I always find I found kind of odd about these games is like the puzzles they just kind of deliberately give you the answers to. Yeah. Which I think is weird. Like I think that's an odd choice. Like rather than giving you a puzzle that you could actually like deduce, like they just flat out tell you, "Hey, it's here. If you put this there, and is there another page before it?" Nope. Okay, yeah, so I gotta, I gotta put the eagle uh, yeah. by the square, the the pi symbol, double X's. So down middle, very center at the bottom row. Okay, how do I change which? So one? I press up and down on the right stick to change the things. No, we don't want that one. Yep. So just move it right there. And then the, the pony, yeah, that one, is second or fourth row down, first column, yeah. And then is there anything else to tell us about the other ones, or what? Are we just going to have to... <clears throat> is there anything in the room that would just, like, show this? Oh, so itchy. Really, why do I itch? Because your skin is dry, most likely. You're a dry bitch. Where is it supposed to go? Oh, there you go. You got to look at it from oh, different from the angles. Different angles. Okay. Oh, I see. So okay, that so wait. that one was the bird. So wait, can you, done. can you look at that one? one? Can you look at that one again? Yeah. So the bird. We know that that's so that's to the left. So it's oriented. It's oriented as if you're standing. There. Here, yeah. Yes. Okay. So then we oh. have a moon, a trident, an eight, and a guy. And that's for. That's for the cow. Yeah, that's the cow. Yeah, cow. Okay. So moon. So, so it's. Trident, eight, guy. So the eight is above, and the moon is below. Okay. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, give me something to actually work with. You know? The moon, the moon is below and the eight is above. So right there. That one. Yeah. Okay. And then the lion. Sweet little lion man. <clears throat> Fuck you in the ass until you come. Are you just going to go one by one until you get it? Yep. There it is. <laughs> that probably would have been faster than me looking. <laughs> yeah, he was like, Fuck this. Watch yourself. I've got the death sentence in 12 systems. Oh, well, Godfrey. That guy's an <laughs> like, open brain. Like, what do you mean 12 systems? Sully, what are you talking about? <laughs> How many systems are you thinking of? Atari. 2600 and 5400. Dreamcast. Sega Saturn. Virtual Boy. And all the Nintendos. <laughs> just very plainly, all the Nintendos. <laughs> yeah, there's just so many. There's the. There's probably more than twelve right there. There's the Nintendo. And the one after it, I don't remember what that one was called. I think it was Super. Well, it definitely wasn't Super Nintendo, but it was something like that. It might have been Genesis Nintendo. Oh yeah, Genesis Nintendo. Um, then there was. Uh, 
The Advanced uh, Gaming Boy. Yeah, Advanced Gaming Nintendo. Um, family Computer. <laughs> yeah, Family Computer. Oh, uh, Xbox Nintendo. PlayStation. I think Sony did a Nintendo. Nintendo. Nice yeah. That might have been the 32X. Yeah. So. We're going to see what happens. I don't remember. Oh, it's the the spiders. Australia, the Lord! Ah, it's Australia all over again! Sully, get your ass over here! Billy, you might not want to skip the cutscenes, because I don't remember them. Yeah, I don't actually either now. <laughs> now that uh <laughs> now that you've skipped it, you're like, wait, what did happen? There? Yeah, why am I here? Just to suffer? Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is kind of like they're afraid of the light thing, but like, I remember, I remember. Do you remember in Gears of War one they had the krill? Yeah, I think that was cooler than this. Ow, ow, spiders! Ow, 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 spiders! Ow, 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 spiders! How are they hurting you? They're not even doing anything. They're just touching me. I don't like it. Oh shit! Oh shit, man! Well, at least this is a really easy pacifist part. Yeah. Can't kill the spiders. Much like you couldn't kill Krill. And the metal. Yeah, you can't kill the metal, that's true. Techno tried to kill the metal. It failed! As it was thrown to the ground! It Grunge tried to kill the metal. They failed as they were stricken down to the ground. New Wave tried to kill the metal. They failed as they were thrown to the ground. It's a good song. I like that song. It is a good song. I used to know how to play the riff, but I don't. I don't remember how it goes now. I believe it goes. No, it goes. Are you sure? I thought it went. No, I think you're thinking of. Can you take me higher, girl? It's not even how that goes. <laughs> You're not, good at, you're not good at scat, Billy. <laughs> Skippity bop boop dip bop. Is that what you want? Nee, 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 nee. God, that makes it so grindy. Turn it off. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, Aren't you clearly supposed to jump at the fucking chandelier? Like, what the fuck else am I supposed to do? Oh, there's a bunch of. Planks on the wall. Planks on the wall. Wall planks. Oh my god. Planked! You're gonna go. You're gonna go to the old folks' home if you keep talking to me, old man. Yeah, mold man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man of mold. <laughs> what am I watching? What am I watching? How come, how come like this? your weight is enough to cause that to collapse, but like the chandelier wasn't? Yeah. Like it just settled that way. Uh, if you actually think about being in a place like this, this like it would be so dangerous. Yeah, it'd be very dangerous. <laughs> like with the front flipping door are they doing? There wouldn't be conveniently placed uh, boards for you to climb out with. I don't even know why I took a gun out of it. It's so weird. What's happening? Sully no! Is that a janitor down there? <laughs> He's fucking power washing this, the, the floor. He's got a scrubber. <laughs> yeah, one of those buffers. Yeah. He has headphones on. He doesn't even realize. It's like Stan Lee from Spider-Man 2. And He's in the library or whatever and they're fighting behind him. You're just going to let him go? Alright. Thanks, Sully. It's fucking bullshit, Sully. Didn't even try to help. Sir, we gotta get out of here! There's so much fire! Well, it's not enough for me to be worried about. I'm gonna kick you. Please don't. It hurt. Uh, 
Alright, so <sighs> clearly this is not where I need to be. Yeah. And that plank looks promising. Plankton! <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good SpongeBob pull, but I don't know what's coming to me here. Soiled it! <laughs> it's not even SpongeBob. <laughs> Most people probably wouldn't know that one. <laughs> yeah. Um. How about a classic? I need it! <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to think of something that applies to the situation. <laughs> wow, Sandy, those are some nice cheeks you got. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm Do you ever think see I might be ro watching the wrong SpongeBob? <laughs> Do you ever see uh, SpongeBob the anime? No. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty good. Um, somebody, I don't know if it's a studio or if it's a just a person, they made a short uh, animated film, and it was basically Spongebob the anime. So it's Spongebob fighting Bubble Bass. Okay. Um, and, like, uh, Squidward is there. And they do a Japanese and a English dub. The English dub is not good. No. I would say definitely if you're gonna watch it, watch it with the Japanese uh, because like it goes like really deep into like tropey type shit and it's perfect. Oh, let me find it. Oh no! Uh, Nate! Oh, no. Nate! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! How did this fucking happen? I'm gonna go to the old folks home now. <laughs> I'm gonna poop my pants at the old folks. <laughs> Drink I pooped. I can't go any farther. I pooped him. Uh, sponge Bob. Sponge Cake Bob, man. The anime. And I think they were going to try to make like an actual, like, kind of like a series out of it. <laughs> they call it the Bubble Bass Arc. What is this fucking Dragon Ball? 20 million views, but That's so funny. Oh, there was an original animation, I see. So it must have maybe been like a Flash animation or something. And then... They developed it more. I don't know. What's this first one? What is it? Narmak. I don't know who that is. But they got a Bubble Bass arc. I'm sure... No! No! You're not getting free advertising on this. Oh, I hit the wrong button. SpongeBob is my favorite anime. Isn't a joke anymore. That's a top comment. Oh God. I think they got a pretty. <laughs> so the, the Japanese dub is better just because it's like more. Uh, yeah, it's more actual realistic. It's more too. trope. Yeah, type of thing. You got it, Sully. I believe in you. Keep going, Sully. Here, we'll watch this later. But you get the idea for now. Like, we'll watch it later. I thought they had a fucking theme song, too. But maybe that's at the end. I don't know. The fuck? But, like, you know, you know, you know, like, the, the trope of, like... The person in the in the group is like the stoic, seasoned veteran guy. Yeah. And like he, you know, will always give like a kind of a like a deep philosophical like speech before like a, an encounter or something. Like very stoically, he'll just stand there and say his the lines, you know. Yeah. That's what they do for Patrick. Patrick is that guy. Ah, oh, okay. The, and it's better in the dub. Like the Japanese dub because um, he's got like a real deep, you know, Japanese voice. Yeah. Whereas in the English dub, they try to make them sound more like the English characters. And it's it's still funny, but it's like, it's funny like to an American audience or a Western audience anyway, to hear Spongebob speaking Japanese. Yeah. Because it's just like, it's just goofy. Oh, my eyes. 
How, what does that tell you how engaged I am with this segment of the game? That I'm like, hey, let's watch the SpongeBob anime, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This ain't it for me tonight, Billy. <laughs> this is probably the reason why this game is, uh, this is not why very we, rememberable. Ah, this is why we haven't played it since the first time we played it. Make it seem like it's a bad game. It's not a bad game. No, it's just no. Like, it's, just, it's just like, I don't know. It's not spectacular. No, not really. It's not it's super engaging. Let me settle. Well, I hope this part doesn't break. I was going to say, look, if we got time, we should just play Resident Evil instead. <laughs> just for like a little bit. I'd rather watch fucking Resident yeah, Evil. Yeah, I got 15 minutes. I oh, really was sick. Okay, that's fine. We'll play. We'll play Resident Evil next time. <laughs> Just kick him in, dude. Ah, it's really hot. Ah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Flashes. <laughs> it looks like he literally stood in fire. Why did, why did they even, like... Oh, big guy. Oh, it's you again. Oh! In the nuts. Why did, why did they even set fire to this place? Oh. Like, what reason do they have to do that? Just to try and kill Drake, I guess? Push him off. Oh, he gave, he gave <laughs> he up. He had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets blown up. <laughs> Come on, Sully, pull your fucking There's <laughs> something about the fact that he... <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> like, in the heat of a fucking, like, big combat moment in a movie, <laughs> like, the big bad guy just... <gasps> Then he just sees himself and dies. <laughs> <coughs> then a grenade gets pulled on his vest and he just fucking explodes. No, like somebody else throws a grenade at him and just his corpse explodes. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, There's a deal in the hot topic. We need to get going. See, another Half-Life thing. You can throw grenades back in that game, but you actually have to pick them up. It's not just a button prompt and then it just magnetizes to your hand. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Or at least you grab it with the gravity gun or whatever, you know? You know what I'm curious just about, too? Up. I wonder how much of this, like, how, like when they animate stuff like that, like, you know, all the stairs collapsing and <laughs> shit, like, how much of it is, like, actually just based on in-engine physics and how much do they actually animate it? Yeah. Because I remember that being a big point in Episode 2, Half-Life 2, Episode 2, that, like, there's a bridge collapse in that game, but they had to hand animate all of it. Like, they didn't, they didn't like, just let physics do it. They hand animated, like, the whole thing collapsing, which is cool. I often wonder about that. Yeah. Not that I know what goes into e doing either of those things, no. but still, like, to know that... You know, you can script stuff to fall and then just let the physics engine handle the rest. Or you can physically, like, take the time to animate the entire sequence. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, I just wanted to... Yeah, damn it. I'm glad I saved myself some of those ribs because I'm starting to get hungry again. See, I told you we should have gotten two family feasts. <laughs> well, one for now, one for later. Was something on the like there were some things on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> like underneath, you see that? Yeah. Yeah, but you gotta. I think I gotta go over. straight. And then... Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Not again! Just once, just once, I want them to. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I had to fucking break. I want them to do it a thing where <laughs> Drake dies, and then Sully. You just start playing a solo for the rest yeah. of the game. 
<laughs> It'd be like those, you know, like Donkey Kong Country where, you know, Diddy dies and then he yeah. plays, uh... Yeah, he gotta play Donkey Kong. Yeah. I've been doing this for a while, so, you know, you're fine. Let me help you die. Why would you grab onto that right now? You know I'm not that skinny. That's where Donut Drake came from, definitely, is all these broken shit. That's what I should have done. I should have played through this game first and unlocked the Donut Drake skin. And then we could have played through the whole game like that. Fuck. So I can be a fat pacifist? Yeah. Or at least as much as I can be. Go, 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 dude. Can this segment be over now. <laughs> Oh, that was my fucking trip out of here. Please don't shoot me, I'm very allergic to bullets. You kind of put out the fire, fire. actually. Hey, He's absorbing all of it. That just tells you that he didn't die. Why would you throw your gun at the guy? That's weird. Because he didn't learn from Doctor, right? Eh? Thanks, I didn't have a gun before. Now I have one to shoot you with. <laughs> well, clearly nobody learned from Doctor, because eh? a lot of people threw their weapons. Yeah, they just kept doing it, too. Oh no, I hope the sword doesn't break. I hope the ladder doesn't fucking break apart, too. Oh no, how are they gonna get out of this one, Billy? Oh no. The, the ladder's broken. Oh no, man, I think I can just put that back up. <laughs> hey, you've seen that, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh no! No! Oh, hold on, sir. No. No. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. Holy. Just, Holy and, shit. And that's how <laughs> that Drake. was fucking dope. <laughs> you fucking crushed my building. <laughs> Just imagine somebody seeing that. It just he's like afterwards just Oh my god. No. Drake. <laughs> you know? And then you play as Sully the rest of the a tra horribly tra traumatized Sully. <laughs> <And just> seeing <laughs> a burning fucking tower fall onto <laughs> his friend. Completely eviscerate his friend. <laughs> like there would be nothing left. No, no, because he would be crushed to death and then burned. It would be no way to get oh back. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. You guys probably got the black lung now. You get to hang out with Sully a lot in this game because they wanted to make up for number two where you hang out with girls the whole time. Me too, but I skipped those cuts. So. <laughs> <laughs> At least I have an excuse. <laughs> well, you're just an old man. That's why we're going to put you in a home when we're done with, with all this. I am a dog. We're doing this because I really, really need to show off to my wife.
probably get us all killed. Since I can't beat her at Crash Bandicoot, this is the only way I can beat her. What? There's a habit, yes. Sully, so if we were fine, yeah, chances are they were too. We got a one yeah, get to Syria fast. Can you remember when we left the car? Can you not call them? Turn around. <laughs> well, not right there. I mean, maybe later. When they get to a place of civilization. Yeah, this was the. Excuse me, we got fucked. This was the problem with number three, though, is that they do a lot of this like globe trotting shit. Yeah, Whereas which was in, interesting when you first do it. Yeah, but like, if I recall correctly, when they developed this game, they had come up with all the the set pieces first, and then they frame the narrative around the set pieces. Yeah. Which is kind of like a back, an ass backwards way of doing things. Like, I want to make a story in these places. Well, yeah, well, just you know, like they have like a segment, that segment where you chase Talbot, like you know, they had that segment all worked out, or like kind of what they wanted to do with it. But then, like when you get there in the game, it's kind of weird. Like why, like randomly, I don't even know that there's any reason for Drake to chase him necessarily. Maybe he's got the ring or something, but it's like you're chasing him through the city or whatever and all that shit. Yeah, I don't really remember. And then there's like the part with the boat, and then the boat gets overturned, and you're inside the boat, and you gotta get out of the boat. So they just arbitrarily have this like whole like ship graveyard segment of the game that has literally no plot progression for the entirety of it because they had to justify a reason to um, have the boat segment in the game because they made it. <laughs> like so there's no plot in it at all. Like there's no plot progression. There's no story. I don't even think there's any major characters involved in it. You have to end up, you end up like meeting a dude named Ramses or whatever, and he like is just a side character. Hi, my name is Ramses. He's like that one guy from the train segment number two, with the guy, like the guy that's like you know mm, yeah. with the walkie-talkie and all that. He's basically that guy. But it's like for some reason the game feels it necessary to have this whole boat segment just because they made the set piece. So it's kind of. I think they kind of did a weird job in that respect, but whatever. They're worth trying, I guess, you know, just to try something different as far as, like, how they develop games, I guess, but... Um, yeah, but it just feels like an ass-backwards way of doing Yeah, because it. it's like, you know, then they're making the set pieces without really any real justification for it. That's why they have all this globetrotting stuff in the game where it's like, well, we're done in the France area, there's nothing left to do there, so now we just have to arbitrarily go to some completely different place. But whatever. Hey, they tried doing it a different way, and for some people it was probably amazing, and others it's like, whatever. That was a pretty far jump. <laughs> uh, we're probably going to wrap this up soon, too, so I don't know. You, you, you can call it, Billy, whenever. Okay. You're going to get Sullivan in here and then take a dump on his chest and call it a day? Ow. I'm playing Gung Fu. You know, that's what they should do. Uh, a fucking Keanu Reeves led. Um, fucking uh, John Wick. Isn't that what it already is? No. Wait, where's my gun? Where's my fucking shotgun? <laughs> he took it away from me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, you know what? They really ought to start doing that where like the the enemies will start using <clears throat> your tactics against you. Right? Yeah. Like why don't they shoot? propane tanks next to me because it's dangerous because only it's I'm allowed to do that it's dangerous only I am allowed to do that oh perfect from the top rope that's a cool looking gun I like that gun I like the like top rail part of it I think that's cool did you see me? no okay <sighs> Uh, 
that was weird. Because <laughs> the camera angle went all yeah. weird. They're like a little wonky, very canted angle. That was <laughs> that threw me through a loop there. Is he? You sure? Is don't he really throw him off here? the ledge. Where? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Why is he giving me square prompts there? That's weird. I think that's my jump. No, it's probably to like make it so you, yeah, you so you jump on him, yeah. Sorry, I misunderstood what you meant at first. They didn't quite refine that as well as like in the other ones where you could just straight up jump at them. Yeah, yeah, like it was much easier. easier. Yeah, that was always the thing. Like now, like in hindsight, now that we've had like time to really separate ourselves from this like series, that was like looking back. That's one thing that I feel like the games really didn't do at any point was like progress like what Uncharted did. You know? Yeah. No. It it was basically the same thing like, the whole time. Yeah, like every single game pretty much operated and played the exact same. Which, um... I feel like certain games can kind of get away with it, but there's like... They're, they usually at least like try to do something new to kind of like make, you know, mix up the formula a little bit. But like, yeah, this this, this series, like, they really didn't add anything. Uh, uh. I think the only thing that actively comes to mind from one to two that they added or changed was how grenades operate. <laughs> like instead they of did, having to equip them, you just have to tap a button to throw them. True. They did add the uh, what you call it though, uh, grappling hook. Yeah, number four. So that was something slightly different. Yeah, yeah a little, a little bit, but like. I wouldn't even really say that that necessarily changed the gameplay oh, no. that much. I mean, like, there were certain segments where you could grapple around, like, in, in the midst of combat, which was kind of cool. Like, I will say that that's... Like, just shoot this fucking dude. Come on. I got him. I got him, dude. Got him. <laughs> you know, he's jumping away. Just shoot him. Come, come here, motherfucker. I'm gonna kiss you. <laughs> All right. Fuck. All right, solid. <laughs> but yeah, like broadly speaking, like none of the shit like ever changed. Like they never really added any new mechanics. They didn't add any new like abilities. Really, I mean, yeah, you can jump on them, but that like that's so contextual. Like you're not using that all the time. You know, they didn't make stealth more viable or better. Like I don't know, just weird. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> yeah, do that one. It's the only one. Bye. <laughs>